Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a quick check of what's going on with the forecast. And as of right now, things are, again, pretty quiet and have been throughout the entire day. A little bit on the warm side out there for today and going to continue to see some pretty toasty conditions into the next several days as we go along into next week. We continue to see a bit of a cool down heading our direction, so that'll be feeling pretty good. We also are seeing the possibility of some stronger weather into the Mid-South as we go into to tomorrow, possibly into Monday. We'll be monitoring that very carefully. It does not look like a severe weather outbreak, but it does look like the in po the possibility of severe weather is going upwards into the course of the rest of the weekend. Not for tonight, and again, not for the rest of tomorrow, but looking again at the possibility of some more of those thunderstorms out there becoming severe, and that's something that we're all going to have to pay attention to for, again, safety's sake out there. If you're just joining us, if you've never been here before, please drop your uh, location. Your city, state will do nicely, and if you've got any weather reports out there, we'd love to know more about where you're tuning in from for tonight for our weathercast. And continuing again, some pretty quiet again conditions for the evening hours for right now. If you got any weather pictures out there, we'd love to be able to see what you're seeing across the Mid South. So give us a couple of pictures, send them to me again via social media, or you can drop them to me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And we'd love to see more about that. More of your weather pictures coming up here in just a little bit. So stick around for more on that, as well as more on severe weather as well. Today, again, about as close to normal as you could get for July, late July in the Mid South area. The Almanac page looking again at temperatures back into and around the lower to mid 90s and lower to mid 70s for low temperatures. No rainfall officially today. Still ahead for the year. Welcome to everybody joining including my lovely and talented wife Melissa joining us from House Onik. I'm sure surrounded by the herd of three dogs out there. Welcome everybody else. Kimmy Barnhill 77 and clear in Adamsville Tennessee and hi hot stuff back to you to my wife. Thank you very much. Uh, good to see you on here. Hernando LaDonna Joiner Faulkner, welcome to the show. Uh, everybody else checking in. Hot and hot again, Darlene Wick in Covington. Uh, thank you very much for that one. And again, any of your weather reports out there, just drop them into the comments section. Rain gauge information, wind speed, cloud cover, temperature, whatever you've got. We'd love to see more about what's going on. Throughout the rest of the evening, temperatures again will be back into the upper 70s by the time we hit late into tomorrow morning. And then by the time the sun comes up, lower 70s at best. We may see some clearing skies overnight as what's left of some thunderstorms drift those clouds through the area and we start to get some clearing conditions into and around uh, much of the area. Mary Tal Irish, hope I'm saying that right, Moscow, Tennessee, Cooler weather? Yeah, we'll hope it sticks around here for at least a little bit anyway. New Bern, Tennessee, Paulette Morrow, 78 degrees. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Joe Joe in Horn Lake, Mississippi, nice and cool. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report there. And everybody else who's checking in, waving hello and everything else, thank you very much for stopping on by. Tonight, again, got a lot of problems out west keeping track of the fires out in across portions of the American West, the West Coast states, especially this normally clear view is the view from where the Ferguson fire is affecting Yosemite National Park. And this is just one of about half a dozen webcams out there with the National Park Service. And we'll keep you up to date on the threat for fires. I believe we have checked in here in a little bit. We're going to talk about burn bans and fire information here in the Mid-South. It is nowhere near as bad out West, but once again, we're talking about some possible canceled vacation plans if you're heading that direction. Very dangerous conditions in parts of the Inner Mountain and the Coastal West Area states, so please keep that in mind. Back here in around the Mid-South area, sunset lights from the Ole Miss track and field facility in and around Oxford, Mississippi. A little bit of fading sunlight looking west across the Mississippi River, so we did manage to pick up a little bit of some sunset light into and around the area uh, for right now. Amy Hayes, what about St. Louis? Uh, a little far out of our territory, but we'll take a peek with that with Storm Tracker 3S radar in just a little bit. New Bern, Tennessee, Don Garner, 78. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report out there for tonight. Uh, Senatobia, LaDonna Ulrich, checking in at 86. Thank you very much for that one. Carol Baker Montgomery, 101 in Carlsbad, New Mexico. And uh, welcome back from uh, the Hernando area as well. Thank you very much. Denica, overall, uh, 83 in Dyersburg. Thank you very much for that one. This may look like a still picture. It's actually a live picture of the Hilton East Memphis camera looking at the construction going on in and around west and eastbound Poplar. The entire area has been shut down 
because of construction going on. So east and westbound Poplar, you're not going to be able to get across. Likewise, in either direction on I-40. If I got this connected properly, and I think that we do, hang on just one second here for it to catch up. TDOT Smartway camera, the Memphis Police Department out routing the uh, traffic off to around the 385 connector. This is traffic from 385 Bill Morris Parkway heading west to the Mount Moriah exit. And then also in and around the area looking back toward where that camera was, there goes the 240 to 385 traffic and 380 to 240 right here. But again, this entire area north of Mount Moriah has been shut down, so you cannot get through this area. Now Park Avenue and right back up around the Quince Avenue overpass, you will be able to get at least a little bit more in the way of a detour there. Also around Shady Grove and Walnut Grove, that's where you'll see some of the pass-through area detours taking place. Now, not much of anything on Storm Tracker 3S radar. We do have a few scattered showers. These were leftover thunderstorms about maybe 12 to 18 hours ago, and now there's just remnants of showers passing into and around the area of Oxford, I-55, Batesville, picking up some of that activity, but dwindling as it goes. There hasn't been too many reports of showers with this down toward the surface, so more than likely this is just moisture several thousand feet in the atmosphere trying to create precipitation and pretty much failing miserably. There's not much left of it on that. Westerly flow at this time coming on through. New storm system about ready to dig into the area. And as we look over the next couple of days, we'll be looking for more moisture to start making its way up from the Gulf of Mexico as a new plume of moisture heads up this way. That means plenty of moisture for us in the form of rainfall. Temperatures decently comfortable right now across much of the area back in the upper 70s to right about the lower 80s across much of the Mid-South. Mark Berry is snow on the way, undoubtedly, just not immediately, but thank you for asking on that. Marshall Border, 80 degrees in Jonesboro, thank you very much. Rachel Kemp, any rain in South Haven? Not looking at anything at this point in time, so not seeing a lot of anything heading our direction for right now. Throughout the rest of the night, temperatures dropping upper 60s to mid-70s across much of the area and continuing again to see some pretty mild conditions. Now, most of tomorrow looks okay for outdoor stuff. But the farther you go into tomorrow afternoon, that's where we start to see, again, the potential of more showers and thunderstorms starting to make their way into the picture as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening. Best possibility of anything approaching us is going to be, again, from around St. Louis south into northeastern parts of Mississippi. And that is going to be, again, through tomorrow night into Monday morning right on through the I-40 corridor right after midnight and getting into around very early Monday morning. Could be some fairly intense weather across much of the Mid-South, keeping those showers and maybe a few thunderstorms around for Monday. Even more activity as we go into and around Tuesday area. Now, threat for severe weather tonight, way out to the west, not seeing a problem, but central Kansas up into Wyoming, Nebraska and Colorado, there is an enhanced risk of possibility of severe weather. So this is the main target zone for tonight. We're not seeing anything else for us until we get into tomorrow. Now, this is a different forecast than what we showed you this morning on News Channel 3 Daybreak. So things, once again, have changed. That's why you got to keep up to date with what's going on with the forecast over several days because these numbers will change a lot out there. Storm Prediction Center has raised the threat of severe weather from a marginal to a slight risk, which means more possibility of severe weather here from southeast Missouri through northeast Arkansas right on the News Channel 3 doorstep to the northwest. Now, there is that area right here, that marginal threat, less of a potential for severe weather, but here's the thing, it's still a potential. So again, the best possibility will be in the yellow, less of a possibility here, and this forecast will change in the next couple of updates through tonight and into tomorrow morning. We'll bring you that information here again on News Channel 3 social media and also on Daybreak tomorrow morning, so don't want to miss that forecast coming up. Okay, running the numbers into the rest of the day today, tonight, and into tomorrow, looking at numbers back in the high 80s, right about 90 degrees once again, very close to normal for this time of the year. Early during the day, I think there may be a speckle of rainfall, but most outdoor activities should be able to get done before you get into the afternoon and evening, which is where we see best possibilities of thunderstorms coming on through into and around there. Monday, better chances of showers and thunderstorms move through the area. 
And with our new storm system coming on through, enough rain and clouds should be blocking out the sunshine. Now, if that happens, we may be looking again at a lot more cloud cover and a lot less sunshine. So that means some much nicer temperatures, almost a category below our normal high temperatures in the lower 90s for this time of the year. So that is going to be feeling quite comfortable across much of the area. Now, through the rest of the week, we diminish the chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll keep a couple of chances out there, and temperatures may get back into the lower to mid 90s briefly across periods of time out there after brief cool downs from time to time. But most of the temperatures are going to be heading back upwards again into the lower to mid 90s out across much of the area. So Covington, Margaret McLean looking again at some very warm conditions tomorrow with those chances of thunderstorms out there. Malden, Missouri, Annie Francis Killebrew, hope I'm saying that correctly. Thank you very much. Scott Jarvis, weather report, 79, feels like 84, calm winds in Banner, Mississippi. Thank you very much uh, for that one, and welcome to everybody else uh, checking in for this evening across much of the Mid-South area. Again, through the rest of the evening, things are looking pretty quiet for right now. The good news is that the berm ban that was in effect for Lee County, Arkansas, that has been dismissed, and there are currently no burn bans in effect for the News Channel 3 viewing area. But down into southwest Arkansas, there are six burn bans in effect. Again, all burning outdoors, anything in the way of getting rid of yard waste or campfires or anything like that. Uh, that has been banned by the local county governments uh, because of the higher fire danger down here. Mississippi Forestry Division, no burn bans have been issued in the last 24 hours that we can see. Tennessee does not issue burn bans on a regular basis. They usually wait until an extraordinary need like a drought situation <clears throat> excuse me, or a major fire risk is shaping up. So as of right now, no burn bans in effect for the Mid-South area. So that's looking pretty good. Enough rainfall has kept the plant life out there very moist and not seeing any major problems out there for that. Very warm ocean temperatures from the Gulf into the Caribbean, but so far nothing developing at this time, so that's good news. This is where we see the bulk of the development of storms from the tropics at this time of the year. Getting out into the Atlantic over the next several weeks, this is where we'll see the storms come from. But as of right now, good news from the National Hurricane Center, we are not seeing anything in the way of storm development and that is very good news but keep in mind that we are again right at the beginning technically of hurricane season and we've got a long way to go before we hit the peak in about early to mid-September so good news this may be remember it only takes one storm to cause a problem and again to cause a ruined vacation or worse so so far for Florida Gulf Coast and East Coast states and the Caribbean Nothing to worry about for right now, but you've got to pay attention to what's going on with the weather, especially if you are traveling. So keep it updated with News Channel 3 weather experts, and we'll keep you updated on that. Getting some game camera pictures out in the wild, thanks to Arkansas SEC 73. A couple of raccoons and some deer out and about from what it looks like. Thank you very much uh, for that one. Kelvin Gates out at Shelby Farms Park today. Overcast, but still a great day to get out on the lake and do some paddling or boating out there. So thank you, Mr. Gates, for that one. And from Friday morning, if I'm not mistaken, Louis Haskett, frequent contributor to our Weather Pictures program. Thank you very much for showing us what the sunrise looked like Friday in northeast Arkansas. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to be able to see them and show them on our netcast and on air. But we can't show them if you don't send them. So you kind of see the problem I'm working with here. So tweet them to me, again, aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, or if you just want to email them to me directly, as several people do, austin.onic at WREG.com. You can post them to Facebook and also to my Instagram page, and I'm on several other social media pages as well. You'll find me out there someplace. Also look in the blue bar at the bottom of the screen for more information about where I am. Underneath the forecast in the red bar, which I forgot to mention earlier, so sorry about that, all available again at WREG.com slash weather. Tune in for my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And of course, we'll have an update on whether where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving overseas, we'll tell you a little bit more about what it looks like around the world in several locations so you can get a good idea as to what it looks like and how to keep up to date with that weather. We'll give you the website for that. That'll be in about 15 minutes on my Facebook page, Periscope, and Twitter, so stay tuned for a special update on that. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. We'll have more details coming up 
on the forecast coming up later on tonight. Troy Washington has all the day's news. We've got Megan Rice giving you a great big heaping of sports for tonight as well. And of course, yours truly with more information about what's going on with the forecast. We'll have more details on that. Also tomorrow morning with an updated severe weather threat coming up on News Channel 3 Daybreak. Richie Lott, cloudy and humid in Oxford, Mississippi. Thank you very much for that. Renee Roberson, thank you very much for the kind words. Appreciate that very much. Likewise, Carol Myers Ray, thank you. And thanks to everybody else checking on through. Casey Dent, 80s looking great, giving outdoor workers a break. Yes, definitely a nice one there. And one more weather report, 78, currently clear in Dyer, Gibson County. Judy Baker, thank you very much. And John Curry from Alaska. Looks like you win the farthest away uh, award for the viewership tonight. Thank you very much uh, for checking in there. More coming up tonight at 10 and on Daybreak tomorrow and throughout the rest of the weekend. Keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for the latest.